Mitochondria are dynamic organelles present inside virtually all the cells inside our body and it's the balance between vision and fusion that determines ultimately cellular and organismal health. And in this case, two children had developed a very severe neurological disease including severe epilepsy resistant to numerous anticonvulsant medications, a choreoapatoid movement disorder and also in association had an immune deficiency. It was very difficult to see how these two um, problems could have arisen from a single underlying disease process unless we invoked a problem with a mitochondrial function. So we have looked at the muscle uh, tissue from the siblings of this family and w we're looking at um, the mitochondria with, which are small organelles normally found in muscle and in this uh, family we can see that we have extremely elongated mitochondria present compared to the normal mitochondria. The long mitochondria in these patients suggested a defect in mitochondrial fission process. We sequenced most of the genes involved in the mitochondrial fission process and didn't find any pathogenic mutation. We then carried out whole exome sequencing and we didn't find any mutations in any of the mitochondrial genes. And then we looked at homozygous and compound heterozygous mutation and we found a stop gain mutation in a gene called STAT2. The mutation was confirmed by Sanger sequencing and the parents each had one copy of the mutated gene. The stop gain mutation in this gene led to nonsense mediated decay and as a result the protein was missing in these two patients. One of the things we did to show this mutation caused disease was to look at its effect on STAT1 phosphorylation. The mutation is in the protein STAT2. STAT2 and STAT1 dimerize after phosphorylation and then they go to the nucleus where they turn on gene transcription. We gated stimulated blood cells and then we gated on the lymphocytes and we know their lymphocytes by their size and then we could look at stat phosphorylation either unphosphorylated or phosphorylated cells. And this is our unstimulated cells and these are interferon alpha stimulated cells and you can see the control shows much more stat 1 tyrosine phosphorylation than the patient sample does. To see if we can correct the mitochondrial fission defect, we transduced the patient's cells with a wild-type copy of STAT2 using lentiviral transduction. We could clearly see that mitochondrial length shortened and they were similar to the control. We next looked to see if we can replicate the mitochondrial fission defect by knocking down STAT2 using siRNA. SHSY5 Y cells were transfected with siRNA targeting STAT2. We saw increase in mitochondrial length in STAT2 knockdown cells compared to the wild type. DRP1 is the main protein involved in mitochondrial fission and we hypothesized that STAT2 somehow interferes with DRP1 function. For DRP1 to initiate its effect, it first needs to be co-localized to the mitochondria. In these patients, we looked to see if DRP1 does localize to the mitochondria and we could see that both in control and patient, DRP1 does localize to mitochondria and we didn't find any difference between patient and control. And therefore, STAT2 does not affect DRP1 localization. As DRP1 localization was normal in these patients and also DRP1 level was normal, we looked to see if DRP1 is active in these patients. DRP1 activation is duly regulated by phosphorylation at two key serines. Phosphorylation at serine 616 activates DRP1 and phosphorylation at serine 637 is associated with the inactive form of DRP1. Using Western blot, we looked at serine 616 and serine 637 phosphorylation levels. Reduced serine 616 and increased serine 637 was observed in all three patients compared to the controls indicating that DRP1 is inactive in these patients. Introduction of wild type STAT2 in these patients reversed the phenotype and we could clearly see that there was an increased serine 616 and reduced serine 637 phosphorylation. Knocking down of STAT2 in SHSY5 cells showed that there was an increase in serine 637, reduced serine 616 which was similar to patient's phenotype and this suggested that DRP1 is inactive in these patients.
These data suggest that STAT2 deficiency leads to DRP1 inactivation and consequently a mitochondrial fission defect.